The Layer 8 tested has just made a few huge updates that we need to take action right away. Now we can now mint OG passes and I'm going to explain everything in this video so do not bother about it. Anyways guys welcome back to the channel I'm Enoch Okedere and welcome to another airdrop video. So of course as you guys know already we're talking about a test net which is Layer Edge. Now of course Starting from the beginning all over again, test nets are projects before they come to the main net. So of course, it's a way to interact with the community to test the project before it's been launched for the cryptocurrency market. So in this video, I'm going to use my phone to show you guys Layer Edge can also be mined because it's just a light test net. You can run the light node on your phone. We can also do that on the computer. The last video I made, I did it on my PC. This time around, I'm going to do it on my phone and let's just get right into it. So, of course, as you guys can see, this is the dashboard of the Layer Edge testnet. Apparently, you have to connect it to an EVM supporting wallet. Now, what is the EVM supporting wallet? It is basically a wallet that can run a Web3 infrastructure on it. And most of the time, it has to be a wallet that allows Ethereum network on that wallet for example the layer edge beta is an ethereum supported uh, test net but this time around not ethereum on the erc20 chain but on the base network of course ethereum is on the base network is on also the ethereum network is on different different networks but of course this time around we're working with the base network now this is very important to know because what i'm going to be showing you guys very soon you have to, you know, be very careful about it. So, of course, this is the Layer Edge Beta. It's the test net. This is the leaderboard. I mean, the first, the top, 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 top people are mining currently at 1.19 million. But, of course, there's loads of ways to earn on the Layer Edge uh, test net. So, of course, as you guys can see, everything is connected. I'm using my Trust Wallet to actually connect to it right here. And if you guys can see, there is this three, what they call it, the sidebar. You can now see dashboard tasks is new. It just happened today or was it yesterday? We have proofs. We have mint. Now, the tasks, as you guys can see, is a whole lot. So you can complete this task to earn more uh, points, to earn more layer edge points, in my opinion. And also for minting an OG pledge pass, you're going to get. 3x boosts that is your mining is going to go, go times three so this is very very important if you mint a pledge pass you're going to get 1.2x boost so your mining is going to go 1.2 times so if you're supposed to be mining 1 million in one hour because that is too much you'll be mining 1.2 million in one hour and you can also submit a proof you do not get any multipliers but you get an extra 2,000 layer edge points so now i'm going to help you guys do all of this from the scratch and the last one is link your cli light client to your wallet so this is the command line this one is later it's not now but this one is for the programmers but there will be easier ways to run it when it comes i'm going to also make a video about it for those that are on the layer edge uh, test net so of course all of these tasks are not free you have to mint some of these things for at least two US dollars. But of course, it might not just be two US dollars. You have to get it Ethereum on the base network. But then, since we do not have all of these things, so how do we complete it? Now, I'm going to have to send Ethereum through the base network to my trust wallet. So it come as the base Ethereum. For example, this is my trust wallet. You can see I have BNB over here. I have Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. This is Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. It would not work. So we have to go all the way to receive for starters, receive, and then we go all networks. Now I'm using my trust wallet. If you're using any other wallet, you can also do the same thing. So we're going to search for base 
Now that's the base network and you can see we have ETH base is the first thing here. So I'm going to copy this wallet address. I've just copied it. Make sure you check it to cross check because I've sent over, I've sent a lot <laughs> to the wrong addresses, just copying and pasting. People are really working overnight to so make sure you send the wrong to the wrong address. So please make sure you check it. My the account starts with 0xA5, ends with 8A4. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go to my BitGet wallet where I have USDT. If you do not have USDT, you can buy using P2P to do that. One second. Uh where am I? Okay, good. So but I've bought USDT already. If you do not know how to buy USDT using P2P then you have to all the way come to add funds. You can see, you can see deposit crypto, uh, buy crypto. You All you need to do is come to P2P trading. That's peer-to-peer -peer trading. And then we click on that. You can see there's loads of people uh, don't allow paste. There's loads of people selling, loads of people. But then we are going to use Naira, assuming we are in Nigeria, NGN. And then we can see everybody selling in naira so apparently you guys can see these ones are restricted i have i only have one guy that is um saying buy but this guy is on 50 percent so i'm not going to use him at all uh, i'm going to have to look for somebody that i can i'm restricted from buying from all of these guys because apparently i have not i have not gotten to this level yet so this this guy over here is selling for 1495 per usdt so he has a 98 percent rate so i can use this guy to buy so this is if you do not have usdt already but anyways we have usdt because i've already changed usdt we have over here you guys can see we have nine euros usdt so we're going to go to trade and then we're going to buy a filio with our usdt so i just went all the way to trade and then I and now we're going to buy Ethereum. We're going to buy Ethereum with nine USDT. So our, the quantity of that is 0 0.0044 Ethereum. So we're just going to click on the latest price here so we do not miss the order and buy Ethereum. And so we have Ethereum. It says price filled. So we go to our assets back again. You guys can see USDT has just changed to Ethereum. That's just simple way of buying cryptocurrency using your usdt so now we are going to send this ethereum we're going to send it to our wallet remember trust wallets we'll come back here again and then we copy remember it's still the same thing this is base ethereum remember network will be from base and then we go all the way here spot you have overview on the top of the bar you have overview spot futures we'll go all the way to spots and then we click Ethereum. As you can see, we had only trade and transfer over here. But instead, we have these three dots by the side of trade. We can see buy, sell, earn, blah, 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 and withdraw. So on chain withdrawal. That's what we're going to pick. So as you guys can see now, we're going to paste the one we copied from Trust Wallets. And we're going to now choose the network. Very very important as you guys can see these are all of the networks that ethereum is on ethereum is on the ethereum network binance smart chain network moth network arbitrum one optimism zinc sick extra blah 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 a whole lot so we're going to click base that is where we set it and we just click all and then it says the withdrawal amount cannot be less by 0 0.01 so now we're going to go all the way back and just try to get 0 0.01 uh, Ethereum. So this is more USDT over here, and we're going to go and do more sales of USDT to Ethereum. We're buying Ethereum, so buy ETH. And then that was also successful. It's failed. Then do we have 0 0.1? Yes. Now we have 0 0.1. We even have more than 0 0.1. So now we're going to withdraw, on-chain withdrawal, and then click the same wallets, 0xA5 and 8A4. Go all the way to base network. It takes approximately two minutes and then we click all. So, and then we just go to withdraw. And that's it.
confirm. Now we have to do the pass key verification, which is my face ID. And then confirm. So it says withdrawal order submitted. So in two minutes, we should have the whole thing already in our trust wallet. So now, as you guys can see, it says successful. It has been sent already to my trust wallet. So we're just going to go back to the trust wallet and now check if it is now there. So this was the address. We go all the way back and let's refresh. Okay, so it has not yet gotten here yet. Oh yeah, of course, it is now here already. And you guys can see it shows as ETH base. Okay, it is very, very different. You cannot make the mistake of sending it to the Ethereum chain because that would be very stressful. So now we have successfully sent the Ethereum base into our trust wallet. So we will come all the way to mint the pass because we now have the base in our wallet. So all you needed to do to come here is go to mint. Okay, in the slide bar, go all the way to mint. You can see the OG pledge pass and the other one, which is the free one. But with the free one, you still need some amount of gas fee for that, which has to be on the base network as well. But anyways, as you guys can see, it says mint ends in 43 hours. So you have to do this in what? In two days or so. So we're going to first mint the, let's first mint the free one. Now you can see this is the free one. Network fee is about zero point, just very long stuff. Wallet connect, we can now go back to our browser. It says minted. And that is it. We already have the mint already. Successfully minted the OG pledge pass. Please check your wallets. And I don't know what it said. So, but anyways, we go to tasks over here and then we click verify SBT because we just did the task. And let's go back and see it's submitting. While we are waiting for it to submit, so we don't waste any time, let's go to the second one, the second mint. Uh -huh, it says you have successfully so completed the task and points have been added to your balance. Next one is to, uh, to mint the 3x boost, which is the OG pledge pass. Mint OG pledge pass. It's taking $2 from us. We go back to the browser and it says minted as well. It says receive 100% mint fees back at TGE. So during the token generation in the event of layer edge test nets, you're going to get every money you spent on doing this thing. So that is really, really nice, guys. I think you guys have to do this. Of course, if you've not started mining layer edge, the link will be in the description below. Make sure you do just that. I think it is an alpha. Okay, let's just call it beta because it's better over here. But anyways, you can do it on your phone, do it on your laptop. It is very, very easy. So we have just minted that as well. So apparently we have a 3x boost on node points. And then we are going to go all the way to tasks and now confer, uh, verify the task, which is confirm. And then go back to the wallet. Uh, it still says unexpected error occurred so we're going to do it again probably the network is just malfunctioning this time or the transaction hasn't gone through yet so apparently i think personally the transaction has not gone through yet so let's for example go back to mint it says minted but of course it has to register on the network for starters but let's go all the way to dashboard and Currently, we already have the 1.2x boost. As you guys can see, we have the boost already. So we're earning now 0.2 more of whatever we've been mining currently. So I'm just going to go to Trust Wallet and see why that one has not gone through. And you can see our, our value here is still the same. We still have 24, which shows that the one we did has not yet gone through finally. Okay, now we have 22.42. One second. And now we have 22.42. It means it has pulled through already. So let's go all the way back. And now go to tasks. And try to verify it again. Confirm. Go back to your browser. 
Let's see if it worked this time. And now, and now as you guys can see, it says completed. We now have the 3x boost plus 8,000 points. And as you guys can see, leaderboard rank is not showing any leaderboard badge. It's calling me the Ed Gen OG. Tasks point 1200. And then we also have the submit a proof. We can also complete this task. Uh, but one second, we have to complete the task first on proof. Oh, nice. It says we've also completed the task. We've gotten another 2000 uh, layer edge point. And the last one is coming very, very soon. So guys, I just took you guys through the whole task. For the proof, I already submitted it. All you need to do is come in here and type, I am not a bot or I am I am a human and not a bot. But of course, if you complete all of the other tasks, I think you automatically also will complete this proof. So guys, that is basically everything, I mean, that I need to show you guys right now, currently, because that is all we have for it right now. If you had any questions, put it in the comment section. I will be ready to answer you ASAP. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you smash that like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and peace.